Let's just pretend, for the sake of argument, that the fairy tale version of Thanksgiving is true, and that these chud balloons actually do care about the holiday's message of being compassionate and charitable to all people. Simply giving thanks or celebrating a day to spread goodwill is meaningless until you start changing your behavior and exploring the actual truths behind these holidays. The holiday doesn't matter if you don't practice what it represents. So what has America actually done to give thanks and spread goodwill to Native American communities? There's a mentality that we shouldn't focus on the past, that teaching young warm bows about all the horrible stuff America has done won't serve any constructive purpose, but to make them ashamed of their country. That the best thing for the country is to just move forward and not backward, and just forget the unpleasantness of our ancestors. But we're not moving forward by pretending these truths don't exist. You can't move forward by ignoring the past and erasing the reality of what was done to America's indigenous population. That's moving backward. And when has a policy of ignorance ever been beneficial in the long run? This isn't an ignorance is bliss situation. This is the ignorance of pretending there isn't a gremlin on the wing of your airplane and continuing your course over the Atlantic Ocean, blazing past every point of no return on the strength of sheer hubris. These tribes in the Amazon that are as if living cavemen. But they fought amongst each other so much. And they, that was their sport in a way. Yeah. I mean, and, and they had that as killing. It was it was a way of becoming, you know, trained as a predator. Not that it was like this perfect paradise before we got here. Definitely wasn't. Gee, that doesn't seem like it fits the morals of Thanksgiving, does it? Not really getting a sense of unity and fellowship here, are we guys? Their language is like the coolest sounding language ever. It's got that, you know, there's like a, a sound to it, like, there's something to their accent that just, uh, I guess it's like we're programmed to think of Native Americans as like spiritual and authentic. Because America in general loves to habitually fetishize Native Americans in popular culture and pretend that we're honoring them. They're not worried about the harm being done by perpetuating this ignorance. When has ignoring a wound been the best policy? 